Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Kai, and I'm so excited to see you all today. I've been working and working on decorating my new kite, and I'm kind of stuck. Do you think you can help me? Great, thanks. The thing is, I want my kite to look really special. I want it to look like no other kite in the history of kites. And when I fly it, I want people to say, hey, look, that must be Kai's kite. So I had some ideas. How about sparkly letters? Or maybe adding some balloons? Wait, silly string? As you can see, it's a tough decision. Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello there, Kai. Ho, ho. Decorating your kite, are you? Hi, Ollie. Well, I'm trying. I want people to see my kite and say, hey, look, that must be Kai's kite. Sharing something special is a great thing to do. And I have a perfect story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hi everyone, I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see my latest creation? Ta-da! <laughs> They're my Jesus is Alive celebration cupcakes because all month long, we've been celebrating how Jesus wants to be our friend forever. <laughs> and we can tell all our friends about Jesus. In fact, that's what today's story is all about. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Okay, today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus standing on a mountain. Tell me when you see Jesus. Do you see him? <gasps> there he is! <laughs> Jesus took his friends up on a mountain after he came back because he had to tell them something very important. Jesus told them that he had a very important job for them to do. Jesus told his friends that he wanted them to tell everyone everywhere that Jesus loves them and wants to be their friend forever. Do you know what? He wants us to do that very important job too. We can tell people that Jesus loves them and wants to be their friend forever, right? Right! <laughs> Let's practice. Oh, look, it's my auntie. Let's call her and say, Jesus loves you and wants to be your friend forever. Ready? Go. Jesus loves you and wants to be your friend forever. <gasps> Good job! Oh, look, it's the cashier at the grocery store. Let's tell him Jesus loves you and wants to be your friend forever. Ready? Go. Jesus loves you and wants to be your friend forever. Wonderful. Let's do one more. Look, it's our friends playing at the park. Hey friends, let's tell them too. Ready? Go. Jesus loves you and wants to be your friend forever. Way to go, guys, you did it! That's the big important job Jesus gave us to do. We can tell everyone everywhere that Jesus loves them and wants to be their friend forever. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! <gasps> hey there, Ollie, tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. 
Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. We should tell everyone about Jesus, that he wants to be their friend forever. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. Jesus wants us to tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus loves them and wants to be their friend forever. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I know. I don't want people to think of me when they see my kite. I want them to think of Jesus. So I wrote a big J for Jesus because Jesus is my friend forever. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>